The Gary Weber Open Trophy has been held aloft by Roger Federer an incredible seven times. This is my tenth final here in Halle, which is incredible. I'm so happy about that. I got a chance to defend my title, which I'm obviously pleased about. In order to lift it for a record eighth and third consecutive occasion, the Swiss maestro would need first to defeat Andreas Seppi, the man who knocked him out of the Australian Open in January. I'm sure I will try to take his positive memories to the final, but of course on this surface it's going to be a completely different match. For the first time in Halle, the winner will receive 500 Emirates ATP rankings points. Extra incentive, if any were needed, for both these men going into the showpiece event. The biggest crowd of the week was in attendance inside the Gary Weber Stadium to enjoy some vintage Federer in the early stages of the final. Oh. Seppi played a good point there. The off forehand was excellent, but the lob was just too good. Rain caused play to be slightly delayed whilst the roof was closed. With the seventh game nicely poised at juice, Seppi stepped up his game to keep a firm grasp on his serve. Sweetly struck, passing winner from Seppi. With no breaks of serve, the opener went to a tie-break, with the defending champion having easily the better of it. And I think Federer bluffed him. After a one-sided breaker, the seven-time champion had one hand on the trophy. Oh, that's a very anticlimactic way for Andreas Seppi to give up what was a set of the highest calibre, a really entertaining and competitive battle. Seppi had no desire to dwell on that first set lost for too long, though. Oh, tremendous angle. Oh, especially given how close he was to the net. I mean, he's right on top of it here. As the second set grew older, Federer was finally finding some joy on the Seppi serve. Yes, it is. At the business end of the set, an elusive Federer break of serve was looking all the more likely and couldn't come at a better time. After an hour and 47 minutes, two championship points for the world number two and top seed. Match point duly reared its head and Federer could smell that eighth title. Roger Federer is Gary Weber Open champion for a record eighth time. An 86th singles title for the mighty Swiss. He's had to work hard to pull it off today against an inspired performance from Andreas Seppi who pushed him all the way. You know how much hard work it is to win a title and to keep on going. I don't know what year I won here for the first time, maybe in 2003, so this is like... 12 years later, you know, I'm still able to do it against the younger players that are coming up, so it just probably tastes a bit sweeter because of that reason. And the champion for an eighth time here at the Gary Weber Open here in Halle. Once again, he'll pick up this magnificent trophy. Andreas is the one that killed Australia for me, you know, so it's okay. Uh, those matches happen, and other than that, I've been playing really good tennis. I think it's my fourth title in, the, in my sixth final, so I'm very, very pleased, and I hope I can keep it up, obviously, now, you know, onwards to Wimbledon tomorrow. It's been another incredible week for Roger Federer. Since scraping through his first round match, the Swiss maestro hasn't looked back. The world number two truly is the king of Haller.